So welcome back to another online tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how you can earn money with ChatGPT. But today we're going to be looking at some new online business models that haven't been discussed previously on this channel and new ones that are coming out very soon. So let's take a look at the first one. Now, number one is going to be custom fitness plans. Now, as you all know, fitness plans are something that are very custom and this is something that people take very, very seriously. What ChatGPT actually allows you to do is to be able to create custom fitness plans that allow to help an individual based on their specific dietary needs. So for example, let's say we have, I am a 32 year old man. So let's say for example, if we just write down, in fact, let's get out a notepad and let's say we had a friend of ours or let's say we were a fitness influencer or let's say we were just someone that was trying to sell custom fitness plans. Let's say we were someone who is a 32 year old man, 32 year old man, and let's say uh, I live a corporate lifestyle, okay? Uh, let's say I uh, have a high carnivore diet, okay? Um, let's say, no, in fact, let's say I have a uh, eat lots of fast food and I have a fast, a fast, uh, I'm trying to write this down, fast paced work environment and a high stress corporate job now you might be wondering why have i written these details down the reason i've written these details down is because if you are going to create and sell custom fitness plans this is going to be the type of information that you're going to need and the type of information that you're going to require so we now take this data and then we now go to chat gpt we can say um can you write me a custom fitness plan and diet plan for a let's just do the 42 year old CEO who eats a lot of fast food and and has a fast paced work environment stress job and there we go so the reason we've written this in and we're going to enter this now now you may understand that chat GPT is being quite slow so as you guys can see right here it's actually tailoring this fitness plan to this person's um, workout routine and to this person's dietary needs. So of course, of course, actually did miss out some details. I didn't include the gender. I didn't really include the country that they're living in. I didn't really include their kind of levels because some people may have had tests before that actually indicate what kind of levels and what kind of things they need. So the reason I've actually done this, as you guys can see right here, the reason this is actually really good is because the more detail I've added, as you guys can see right here, it says make time for at least one meal a day, um, increase intakes of this, this and that, um, can consider meal prepping. And the reason this is good is considered meal prepping is because of course there's a lack of time so this is actually really good and the reason most people haven't really thought about creating custom fitness plans or custom kind of things is because of course people actually want to use ChatGPT in order to automate stuff but ChatGPT ChatGPT can be used to automate stuff, but it can also be used to automate custom orders, okay? And that's the beauty of ChatGPT. So custom fitness plans actually do sell quite a lot. And I'm gonna show you guys that now. Of course, I do like to use Fiverr as a proof of concept, but this is not the only website that you can do this on. If you're someone who frequently uses Instagram, you'll know that there are tons and tons of different web pages in which people are showing their custom fitness routines. And there are so many people that would love to make these fitness routines as quick as possible. You guys can see there, it took me five minutes. And if you're someone who's able to use social media as quick as possible for example if you're able to use tiktok effectively youtube shorts effectively and instagram reels effectively then you can easily easily be able to sell these maybe you can sell these for five to ten dollars and think about it guys all you have to do is input this information and that's five ten dollars guys let's say you do 10 people in a single day guys that's a hundred dollars a day very very quickly the only problem that you're going to have is to be able to garner content on that website and if you spend enough time on that website you're going to be able to get these leads and that is something that i can do you can place you know for example you can place this on fiverr you can place this on many different websites so the thing is here, guys, um, there's another thing that you can actually do as well. And I think this one is very, very unique to the new opportunity. Now, if we go on new chat, you have to understand right now, okay, that ChatGPT is, of course, a new software. Now, this is point number two, okay? This is the, the idea number two, a business idea number two. Now, this one is so unique, okay? But I just thought of this the other day because I realized that someone was doing this for free, but I personally would pay for this if I saw this as a product that was sold. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what I mean. So something that's ingenious that people have actually started to sell is chat GPT prompts. Now, the thing is, is that these people are thinking outside the box. You see, with the introduction of AI and tools like ChatGPT, what people have realized is that people actually want to use ChatGPT even better. Now, you can see right here that this is a course that shows you, okay, 150 different chat GPT prompts. Now, what's cool about this is you guys can see that they've made 
10,000 sales from this, okay? That is absolutely insane, okay? And you guys can see that you can only set the price, okay, to $19, okay? So let's do some math on this, okay? 19 times 10,000, guys. You guys can see that that is literally $190,000 literally selling ChatGPT copywriting prompts. Now, remember, okay, people are using ChatGPT. People like me, people like you who are watching this video are using ChatGPT. So if you spend a lot of time on ChatGPT and you have literally, you know, all the prompts, okay? You guys can see what is this? How can I use this? Da, 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 da. If you're someone like a copywriter, this is an aid, okay? This is a tool. So what you'd want to do, okay, is you'd want to create a digital product, okay, that has questions inside it, just like this, as you guys can see, just like the list right here. And then what you want to do is you want to be able to sell that on platforms like Gumroad. Now, this is not the only, this is not the only product that you can actually sell. You can actually sell many different ones. You guys can see right here that someone is selling a course, how to milk artificial intelligence for all its worth. Someone is also selling, I've opened that one too many times. Someone is also selling ChatGPT crypto trading course, ChatGPT mastery course, how to actually master the software. You have to understand that yes, ChatGPT can be used to automate certain things, but you can actually use ChatGPT to sell itself, guys. You can sell things that go with ChatGPT. So arguably one of the best ways to make money with ChatGPT is to not use ChatGPT itself, but to actually sell things that help you use ChatGPT. So for example, you might say, Chat, chat GPT prompts to make you a copywriter, chat GPT prompts to make you a better script writer, how many different scripts, chat GPT email marketing guides. I've seen those being sold on Twitter. And trust me, guys, those are things that will sell. So I would say spend some time in chat GPT making a bunch of different questions. As you guys can see on the left right here, you can open up many different chats. Once you've gathered maybe a list of 100 or 150, you can bundle that into a product and then you can go ahead and sell that product, guys. And trust me, you guys can see just how effective this is. There's many different people that are selling these products. And as you guys can see right here, this is something that is fairly new, which means not a lot of people are doing this, guys. If you're able to get certain prompts in ChatGPT that actually work effectively and people use them, then you're going to be off to a very good start people are going to be making money using ChatGPT is business names. Now, you might be thinking, what do you mean business names? Well, take a look at this, okay? If I were to go into Google and I was to type in business name generator, there are a million different random business name generators and they all work in very different ways. Even on Fiverr, if you go onto fiverr.com and you type in, I will generate um, business name ideas, there are many different ideas that can be created with the helpful use of ChatGPT. So for example, for me, when I start many different social media brands, I actually input the information into ChatGPT and it does a far better job than people do and far better job than these do. So for example, if you see Shopify's business name generator, um, let's say for example, Looker, Namelix, essentially what you go ahead and do here, you enter your query and it generates names. Now these are very, very bad because let's say I wanted to start an AI company. These ones just don't have the actual data. They only have keywords and they generate stuff based on a very, very basic terminology. So let's say, for example, uh, I wanted to start an AI company, an AI media company. Um, let's put um, AI. Uh, okay. It's not AI. Let's put AI um, and then let's put media. Okay. Uh, and generate. Okay. Now this is going to show you guys why this is not easy. Look, it just literally says news ring broadcast. New like all of these are terrible. None of these have anything to do with AI guys. Like these things are actually bad. That's why I said ChatGPT is way better. So let's say uh, I am starting, starting, uh, okay, starting an AI social media company. Give me a list of 10 catchy names. I uh, can't even type probably 10 catchy names. There, I can do that, guys. Okay, so all I need to do is refresh the page. You can see right here, all you need to do right here, guys, is say, I am starting an AI social media company. Give me a list of 10 catchy names. Now, of course, the thing about this, guys, is you can literally have more detail in this. You can say, I am starting an AI company located in London, located in New York, focusing on emerging startups. Da, 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 da. I've done this and the names it gives you guys are very quick and are much more suited and are likely to be used by you better. So for example, if you're able to generate business names, this is going to be something that people genuinely need and always always will need guys. So if you're on Fiverr and you have this as a gig, or if you're on Upwork, or if you offer this service guys online, maybe you can make your website and maybe you can code the API so that it links to this guys. Trust me, this is far more effective. And when I wanted to start my business guys, I started a recent business, which was very interesting. This actually helped me way, way more than this guys. Trust me, it was far more effective. You guys can see the names that we have here, Synapse Social. That is such a cool name based on a social media company, guys. And Synapse is just related to AI, Brainstream, Neural Net, Smartshare, Cognisphere, Mindmingle. Like all of these names are actually good names, 
based on the data, guys. So it's really, really effective for generating ideas like this. And this is something that people haven't really figured out yet. But of course, this is going to be something that you will need, especially as people continue to start businesses. And this is something that will continually be needed. The next thing that ChatGPT can actually be used to do is to create code and to fix code, guys. Now, fixing code is definitely very hard, but this is something that is very, very, very in high demand. Now, you might be thinking that everyone and their uncle knows about ChatGPT, but this is far from the truth, guys. On Fiverr, on many different sites, okay, and I'm just using this as a proof of concept, there's many different other websites that you can use this, okay? You can type in fix code. For example, all you could do, guys, okay, is have a simple service like this, and what you could also have is you could simply copy the code, okay, that they give you, and then paste it into ChatGPT, and ask them to fix the code, guys. So you can say, um, can you give me a Pine script trading bot that gets entries that entries that trades profitably? This is horrible, guys, because my setup is horrible. So uh, you can see right here, you can actually use ChatGPT to create code. Now, this is something that people do know, but okay, the th but what I'm trying to show you guys here is that ChatGPT doesn't always create the right code. Sometimes it makes mistakes in that code. And in previous examples, in previous videos, what ChatGPT has actually been able to do was to be able to fix said code. So for example, it's right now creating some code that I don't know if it's worked because of course I'm not going to be able to test it, but it is creating some kind of trading bot. But essentially what you can do is you can copy the said code. You can then paste this code in and then you could say fix this code. And ChatGPT will actually adjust this code to fix this code guys and ChatGPT does this now you might be thinking okay what if ChatGPT gets this wrong and doesn't fix my code well you have a simple solution you just simply say i'm sorry it wasn't possible to fix your code and i simply decline the job offer that is it guys remember you're not going to be doing much work here it, this is a simple copy and paste job and this is something that is very effective because if someone is trying to fix their code trust me as someone who's programmed before i understand what it means to get my issue solved i will literally pay anyone to solve my issue because many a times when you solve an issue 10 more arise so it's definitely something that is very effectively and it can be used in a variety of different ways so for fixing code ChatGPT is very well because of course like i said you can definitely use it and if you're thinking okay is this person gonna be mad at me just say look i'll give it a shot and if you manage to fix their code then you take their money it's that simple guys so understand that it is something that can be used on a variety of different things now the last way that you can actually use chat gpt is for va work now what is va work guys va work is virtual assistant work now virtual assistant work is stuff that is very very tedious menial mundane jobs that just need a person to do it because we don't have the robots to do it but of course with chat gpt's invention chat gpt can do many different things such as data entry plotting stuff on graphs doing many different stuff and i'll show you an example okay if i type in va work every Every single high-level entrepreneur that I know actually does have a VA. Now, of course, as you guys can see, a VA and I'll work for some hours. Essentially, what VA work is, and this isn't the best site. Fiverr is not a good site for VA work. You actually want to sign up to a site like freelancer.com um, because those sites actually are where people to go to hire their VAs. But essentially, what people do is they do customer support, okay? So, for example, okay, what people have is Zendesk. So, I'm going to show you guys exactly what Zendesk is. Zendesk, I'll say, is the help desk software. So, essentially, what this is, okay, is basically making customer service better. And this is something that you're going to have to use if you have a big business. Now, big businesses hire people in third world countries countries to make their Zendesk better. So for example, let's say I had a clothing brand that was huge. I'd have small people in, let's say, for example, a, a smaller country such as the Philippines, and I'd have them in these chatbots working for me. And I'd give them a simple layout on how they could actually help the customers. So for example, it's a digital chatbot assistant. This would actually be a real person that I would hire. But of course, if you're someone who doesn't want to do the job properly or someone who wants to hand off the extra work that you might have to do, of course, you can actually use ChatGPT to do this work because ChatGPT understands the majority of the queries, okay? And you're going to be able to be very effective at getting this stuff done. So understand that this is going to be able to help with a variety of tasks, especially with the chatbot area and the VA work, guys, especially mundane stuff, for example, plotting stuff on charts. So as you can see right here, this is freelancer.com and this is where people actually do hire the stuff, guys. This is where people do hire the uh, VA work. As you guys can see right here, uh, I'm not even sure if they have it right here. Hire virtual assistants. There we go. So this is exactly what people need. And trust me, guys, this is one of the jobs that is in very, very big demand. And you guys can see they pay $50 per hour, $20 per hour. Remember, guys, that ChatGPT is going to supercharge you. So if you are someone who doesn't have access to a lot of stuff and you um, are able to use ChatGPT for free, this is going to be able to get you a lot of work done a lot quicker. And you may be able to even be able to take on multiple jobs 
jobs and make a lot more money. So understand that this is a very good effective method. If you have any new ways on making money with ChatGPT, let me know in the comments section below and I'll make a video on it.